Hello and welcome to Teach Me English. This is your host, Bahama Sanaul Ansari. And I have been teaching you or explaining you this The Tempest Act 1, Scene 2. I must say it is a series of Act 1, Scene 2. Since this is going to be the fourth video and Act 1, Scene 2. First one was based on uh, Prospero's early life. Second on Ariel. Third on Caliban. This one will be on Ferdinand. About Ferdinand we know already. He is the son of Olanza. And we have seen he was the first man to jump into the water to save his life. Now in this video we will see he survived. He is in one part of the island. And he is in great pain. And he is lamenting for his father. Before I proceed, I would request you all to subscribe my channel, like my videos and comment. Comment is a must. Comment is a must so that I would know what am I doing and what improvement I should bring. Now let's begin without wasting time. So Ferdinand enter on the stage and then on the other part of the island. Ariel, he is invisible. He takes the appearance of the water name. He is, he is uh, disguised. He is playing music and singing song. He is singing song to soothe uh, Ferdinand's mind since he is in grief, lamenting for his father, okay, and he is trying to attract him from one place to the other place of the island where he would be able to see Miranda and both of them would see each other. Now see Ariel's song, come unto this yellow sand. So this is a welcome song for Ferdinand, but it is sung in such a way that you understand that it is sung for him. It seems like Ariel is singing and maybe uh, some uh, local song of the island. Come unto these yellow sands and then take hands. So definitely it's a matter you can understand. Take hand means it's a welcoming song. Okay. Curtsy means bold to lower your head. When you have, he said, when you have curtsied, when you have bowed your uh, head and kissed, you bowed yourself, you lower your head and you kissed the wild waves wished means in silence means the, the night or when the tempest was there okay he said that at that time in silence when you have kissed bowed and kissed the wild waves the line means to say if you have survived this tempest footed featly here and there so what you do you be happy dance foot keep your foot it feedly in a manner of happiness means in in a dancing manner you here and there walk and sweet sprites sprites mean spirits the names in the island the burden bear burden means here chorus okay that he meant to say all the spirits in this island come on join me and sing with me in a chorus ha ha listen to me listen to me Burden. Burden means here chorus. This firstly within. It's a quarter line here. You mean to say that this burden, this chorus is not happening, is standing at one place. This the chorus is happening. It means that when Ariel is singing song with him, the other sound was also there. Okay? Means the other voices were also there. With aerial voice, it means there it means there are more than one voices. Which Ferdinand could hear. That's why it is said, burden means uh, chorus, dispersely within, means from inside, from some place of the, uh, what called the stage, okay? The person on the stage, means Ferdinand, he is able to hear different sounds, different voices, okay? Bow, wow, the watchdog box. So watchdog is another name. Again, uh, the, uh, the, again, what happened here? So the repetition of the word bo 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 ha ha here here I hear I hear what the strain a strain means the crowing sound of cock cock you know very well cock and hen the strain of a strutting a strutting means showing off you know the chanticleer chanticleer word is mentioned here it means uh, rooster rooster means a cock okay when a cock it shows off when it in the morning, when it starts singing and start crowing, coo -coo -coo -coo, at that time it shows off that, and this is another way also to attract the hens toward him. 
so that's what he said uh, i hear the crowing of showing of chanticleer means rooster and what's the sound then then cry within other songs start as he as you use the word chanticleer the other sounds come they are like cock a dildo cock a dildo cock a dildo the song uh, means that the voice starts coming so this is what the song here it's a fun and also it's a welcoming song for ferdinand ferdinand is confused where should this music be and from where could i hear the music from the sea or from the air inside the land to no in the air or the earth the same thing it's coming from the air or some from the earth i don't know it sounds no more but it stops the beautiful song the beautiful sound which i was hearing it stop and sure it's words upon words upon means a company some gods of the island it means that this song is a song for some god of the island he said sitting on a bank the bank of that uh, sea on a bank means at, at the, uh, that is on the beach looking again the king my father's rack so he said he's he's talking about himself that i was sitting here on this beach and i was weeping for my father's loss this music crept by me upon the waters and this music and this music crept by me crept into my ear upon the waters alling both their fury and my passion this music what it has done it has removed the fury the fearfulness of the tempest of the water of the wave and also and also my passion means my suffering this music kept into my ears and all the fears of the wave is removed and all the suffering in me is also removed alling means stop with its sweet air the song is beautiful that it takes away all the suffering and the fear of the uh, tempest thence i have followed it so definitely this is the what this is what the motive of area so that he would follow the music then i have followed it or it had drawn me rather it whether i have i think i have followed it or it forced me or it dragged me to listen to it and follow it but it is gone i don't know where no it begins again so the music starts again since he is deep in lament about his father so the song says what full fathom five my father lies Fathom is a measurement, like kilometer. So fathom is also a, a measurement. It's an archaic word, means six feet, six into five, thirty feet. So full fathom deep means thirty feet down. Thy father lies. All of a sudden, this uh, the the song in the song the uh, words or the feeling of uh, you know, Ferdinand is expressed. His father's name all of a sudden comes, so that he would be more interested toward that song. Full fathom five, thy father lies. Means thirty feet deep, your father lies dead. Of his bones a coral made. From his bone the corals are made. Those are pearls that were his eyes, and his eyes turned into pearl. Nothing of him that doth fade. Means nothing of his body is wasted, but doth suffer. a sea change but it faces a great change and like his bone it turns into uh, coral his eyes into pearls into something rich and strange okay when the changes come to his body his body to another forms something rich and strange that nobody could know sea nymphs hourly ring his bells and the spirits in the sea they rings his death bell hourly means every hour they ring the bell for his death but it means you know very well chorus and then again the ding dong hark now i hear them ding dong bell ding dong bell the song ends this song is specifically um, uh, sung to attract the attention of ferdinand so that he would follow and come to the place where prospero wants him to be 
Since his father's name is taken in the song, so he would definitely follow from where the song is approaching or coming to his ears. But the name. The deity does, the demon song. The deity does remember my drowned father? I said, oh, it's possible this song has reminded me of my drowned father who is dead. This is no mortal business. No, this song is not a work of uh, anyone who is a human being like me. Nor, no sound the earth is. And this music is something different. I have never heard the music like this. That's why he said, nor no sound that the earth owes means the earth does not own this sound it means the sound belongs to heaven this is called exaggeration he is doing okay he's extending the limit that they, he hasn't heard this song ever i hear it now above me so here i heard in this place above me means it must be from air it must be from heaven prospero the fringed curtain and he is wondering he is uh, looking for this for the place from where the sound must be coming so he is not standing at one place he's wandering here and there in the meantime the scene moves toward Prospero and Miranda they are nearby and uh, Ferdinand does not know about it Ferdinand Prospero the fringe curtains of the eyes fringe curtain means eyelid the fringe curtain of the eyes at once see open it open your eyelid and say what thou seest yonder Okay, and tell me what you could see. There, yon means there, Miranda. What? Is it a spirit? She has seen a man, I, I must say that a man like Ferdinand first time because she has seen her father or Caliban as a human being. This two person father is old with long beards, rude mood. Okay, and Caliban, you know, is half human, half uh, animal, like his body, full of a scale. So, this kind of man like Ferdinand, a normal human being, young, handsome, she has seen first time. What is, uh, is it a spirit? No, father, I think it's a, it is such a handsome spirit. Lord, how it looks about. She is spellbound. She is unable to express her feeling to her father now. Believe me, sir, it carries a brave form. Brave form means handsome. It's very handsome, very handsome. But this is a spirit. I know, Father. This is a spirit. Prospero. No wench. Wench means girl. No wench. It eats and sleeps and has such senses as we have. Such. I said, no, no, no. Don't say it's a spirit. It has the same quality and it has feelings like us. Everything is similar. Okay. This gallon which you see was in the wreck. Wreck means the shipwreck. What happened? The tempest. He said that this man, this gallon means this handsome man. He was also in that ship which drowned. But he something strange, something disfigured. Strange means disfigure means his look is not as the same as it must be with grief because of pain and sadness. That's beauty canker. That's why his he is looking less handsome. If you would have seen him, uh, the way he leaves, like a life of a prince, or uh, without this grief or without this tempest, if you would have seen, definitely there would be a different condition of Miranda. That's beauty's canker. Means because of his grief, he is looking in this manner, okay? Not as handsome as he should be, only because of his grief. Thou mightst call him. A goodly person. So you can call him a good person. Okay, means he is a normal human being. He has lost his fellows and is strays about to find him. In this island, he wanders about in different places to find his people. That's why he lost his fellows, his father and other people. That's why he looks like this. Okay, not as handsome as he should be. Miranda. I might call him a thing divine. No father, don't say that he the beauty is canker. For me, he is a thing divine. For me, he is himself a god. I haven't seen such a beauty. I haven't seen such a handsome man. For nothing natural. Natural means that is the normal life. Not in this island, the life of the uh, spirits. No. In the normal life, I ever saw so normal. I don't think I would be able to see such a handsome and beautiful man in the normal human being life. I think he is the last man which I have seen. Prospero. This is what his motive is. He warns dad 
his daughter Miranda and Ferdinand both of them fall in love with each other so that he has a great motive behind it and that motive would be fulfilled now Prospero aside aside means a solid cue he's speaking to himself it goes on oh it works what a plan it works I see I understand as my soul prompts as I wanted as my soul prompted means as I wanted as I wanted it's happening in that way the spirit and because the Ariel is nearby a spirit Ariel fine spirit I shall free thee within two days for this you see I'm so happy and I will definitely free you in two days because in two days his motive will be fulfilled Ferdinand most sure the goddess on whom these ears attain I'm sure you are the goddess this song which I heard must be for you I know you are the goddess okay for safe for safe means accept my prayer may know if you remain upon the silence so I request you and please watch if my prayer accept my request prayer may I know would you tell me do you live in this island and please tell me some good instruction tell me give give and tell me give me how I bear me here how would I behave with you a goddess of this island how would I behave with you as if he's going to worship her that's why he said instruct me how would I behave my prime request most important request which I do last pronounce which I this last word which I want to say is of you wonder means seeing you so beautiful if you be made or no means are you a maid means a girl a maiden means unmarried or no or a human being a human girl or no two meanings are there human girl or unmarried both are here Miranda no wonder right what is this sir but certainly a maid here here Miranda wants to say that that she is a maiden she is unmarried she is a word yes, that seems to say certainly a maid certainly I am unmarried uh, a maiden and uh, and I am virgin still Ferdinand my language my god first of all in this island he has seen such a beautiful woman and the woman is speaking his language English heavens oh god I'm the best of them that is speak this language he means to say that in my country I am so much literate well educated and my speech is so um, um, proficient and and, my, and I have a great eloquence in my country I can speak well I know my language very well were I but where they spoken it seems as if I am in my land if when I when I when I heard you speaking English my language it seems like that I am in my land my people are speaking to me prosper how the best how could you say you are the best person to speak this language what word thou if the king of Naples heard thee what would you say if the king of Naples would hear you is saying this thing now here yeah, Prospero in excitement had a mistake he has taken the name of king of Naples where he has to show he does not know anyone but here he expressed it in excitement Ferdinand Ferdinand a single thing it's the same thing king of Naples and I am the same thing because he understood his father is dead so he would be the king of Naples a single thing means I am it's, it's a single thing I am the king of Naples as I now but wonders but I think now I'm wondering I'm surprised to hear thee speak of Naples you is speak you have taken the name of Naples I'm surprised to hear from you he does hear me here he means Alonso means he used to hear me and that he does I weep and that's why I weep that he used to hear me and he is no more to hear me myself am Nepal I am the king of Nepal who with mine eyes never since at a means since the tempest my eyes had never beheld seen the king my father wrecked okay he said since the tempest I had not seen and my eyes is continuously weeping that's what he meant to say and that he does I weep and I weep 
since the time of the tide, I am weeping because I lost my father, beheld the king, my father's wreck. Means I had seen myself the destruction of my father and he is no more. Since that time, I am continuously weeping for my father. Miranda, a lack for mercy. Alas, alas, I want to have mercy for you. Oh God, please have mercy on this man. Ferdinand, yes, faith and all his lord, the Duke of Milan and his brave son being to him. He said, yes, yes, you are correct. The mercy is required. All his lord means all other ministers. The Duke of Milan means Antonio and his brave son means he said about himself. Being twin means all separated. Twin means he separated. Twin comes from the word between, so he is separated. Prospero, again a sign, solicue, talking to himself. The Duke of Milan and his more braver daughter, more beautiful daughter, could control me. He's, don't worry, I am the real Duke of Milan. He's talking to himself, real Duke, Duke of Milan. And my beautiful daughter would take care of you, don't worry. If now, that were fit to do it means it's a correct time to exercise our influence on you. At the first sight, they have changed eyes. Changed eyes has this meaning. Mean changed their views and it started liking its themselves. Delicate Ariel. Delicate here means of exceptional quality. I shall set thee free for this. I'm very happy. I would give you your liberty. A word. Now he has come out from his solitude. He is now uh, talking to Ferdinand, a word, sir, a word, good sir. He said, if you speak a single word more, I fear you have done yourself some wrong, a word. Then I fear that I would do some wrong to you. It means there would be uh, fighting between us, a word, if you speak a word more. Why is he behaving in this way? When he has a plan that his uh, his daughter and Ferdinand must fall in love with each other. And why is he behaving in this way? He will explain. Miranda, why speaks my father so urgently? Urgently means in so uh, weird manner, in so weird manner and really? Why? Yes, he has never seen the father speaking in this way to some strange people like this. Why is he speaking in this manner? This is the third man that ever I saw, father. Father, after you and Caliban, this is the third man I have seen. The first that ever I cited for. Cited for means in a romantic mood. And the first man whom I have seen with love in my eyes. Pity, move my father to be inclined my way. Father, please have pity on him. Please show your uh, pityness on him because see his condition. Ferdinand. Oh, if a virgin, means if you are a virgin, means you don't have any male partner and your affection not gone for. Means if, if you have not fallen in love with anyone or you're not married, I shall make you the queen of Naples. Okay, so he's so much excited and he decided what to do. He is also in love with Miranda. This is a love at first sight. Prospero, soft, wait, sir. One word more. If you speak this kind of word anymore, again he's saying to himself aside, he's so much happy in saying, they are both in either power. Because they are both in the power of love. But this swift business, I must uneasy. This easy love business, I must make it tough. Uneasy, tough. Lest too light winning make the prize light. If you win a race or any match easily, you won't value the prize. If you get anything without if you get anything without your hard effort, without your great effort, you won't value the thing so well. It's a thing which you have got without any work, without any effort. You think like it's happened always with us. So that's why he wants to make it tough. So that if he would fight for her, so that he would value her. And this is the way he can judge him whether he is suitable for his daughter or not. Now, then again he speaks to him. He said, one more word. Now he he's not he's not doing any solitude, he's speaking to him to put it in. One more word, I charge thee, means I challenge thee that thou attain me. You will fight with me, or you have to fight with me. Thou dost, thou, thou dost here usurp, means you are here. Usurp means a person who tries to get something illegally, okay, like his brother has done with him. So thou 
toast here, preserve the name the owes not means you have taken illegally the name of the person which you don't own means you mean to say you are Ferdinand, you are the son of Alonso, which you are not, you want you are you are claiming yourself the king of Nepal, which you are not, and has put thyself upon this island, and you have come to this island as a spy. I know very well you are a spy to win it from me and the Lord on it. You want to become the king of the place, you want to take it from me. But in end, no, as I am a man, no, you cannot say this thing. I don't have such intention. Miranda, there is nothing ill can do in such a temple. She is not comparing him, means Ferdinand, to a temple. Okay, like the shrine and the temple, how pure and uh, how divine the place. He said that she there is, she said that there is nothing ill. Means in this man, I don't think any ill thing would be there, or this man has any wrong intention to come to this island. There, uh, there is nothing ill can dwell in such a temple. If the ill spirit have so fair a house, house means the body of uh, Ferdinand, and if his spirit, if his soul inside is ill, good things will strive to dwell with it. It means me to say, if imagine that Ferdinand is a bad person, if you're thinking, if he has a wrong soul inside, this man is so divine, this man is so handsome and so good as I can think, that all the evil thing would automatically come out from here and good thing would strive, would fight to get into him. Prospero, follow me, he said this to Ferdinand. Speak not you for him. This, is, this he has commanded to his daughter. Don't speak about him. He is a traitor. Traitor means a person who betrays someone, but here it means a spy. Come, I shall manacle thy neck, means chain, and even chain thy neck and feet together. It's a custom among the pirates to kill their, uh, what call their enemies, okay? So they, what they do, they used to hang, they used to first first chain their neck and feet and hang them somewhere uh, near the sea, so their half body would touch the water and half above it, so that the salty water would kill them uh, with the passage of time and they would die because of their because of their uh, hungriness and they won't get water to drink because they won't be able to drink water and they are tied they are chained they won't be able to run away from there and they will die there okay so he said I shall manacle thee and feed thy uh, thy neck and feet together sea water shall thou drink the sea water but nobody would drink okay if you won't be able to drink even so sh you shall drink sea water thy Food shall be the fresh brook muzzle. Brook, you know, a small river. Okay, the fresh brook muzzle means a fish, a kind of fish which everybody eat. That fish you will eat with the roots and husk. So means the grasses and the green plants which grows on in sea. So you will eat those. Wherein the acorn cradle means the uh, the grasses with acorn you will eat. Okay, the green leaves with acorn you will eat. Actually, you know it's a nut which uh, basically squirrels they eat. Follow, okay, Ferdinand. No, I will resist such entertainment till my enemy has more power. He said, "No, you won't be able to do this thing to me." He said, "No, you won't be able to chain me like this until unless you overpower me. Till till I have the blood in my vein, the warm blood, I would fight. I won't allow you to chain me." He draws means Ferdinand draws out his sword. And it's charm from moving. And at, the, and at the same time, Prospero charmed him, means uh, he, uh, with his magic, he made him stand still. Ferdin Mir Miranda. Oh dear father, please father, you're so dear, don't do this. Make not too rash a trial for him. Please don't make so, his trial, please don't make so tough for him. This, you, if he is in love with me, I myself with him. So please don't do this thing, for he is gentle and not fearful, father. I can understand seeing this man. How could he be so fearful? See his face, he's very gentle, Prospero. Why? I say, my foot, my tutor? You mean to say, you, who is inferior to me, you will teach me. My foot, my tutor, who is inferior to me, will teach me, put thy sword up. Now you try to... Come on, you have taken out the sword. Come on, put your sword up. Try it. Traitor who next show but dares not strike. You, you took out your sword. Just showing off. You don't dare to do this. Thing. Why? Thy conscience, your inner, your inner soul 
a super zest when guilt. Okay? You have guilt in you that you are wrong, you are a traitor, you are a spy, you come here to take my island from me. So you have, you, you are filled with your guilt. That's why you are unable, your sword become heavy and you are unable to lift it. Come from thy word. Word means a defensive place. Come on, come out of your defensive uh, stretcher, your movement. Come on, come on, uh, strike on me. For I can here disarm thee with the stick. See the stick? You are, you are holding a weapon, a sword. I can fight with you or disarm you with the stick and, and make thy weapon drop. Okay, so with the stick I can drop your weapon. You are so much possessed that you are unable to lift your sword even, Miranda. Beseech you, Father, request you, Father, please don't be so hard. Prosper all. Hence, from now, hang not on my garment. Don't hold my garment. Please, don't hold it and don't request like this. Miranda, sir, have pity. My father, please show him courtesy. Please don't do this harshness with him. I shall be his security. I am. Uh, I am giving my surety, Father. Please believe me. He is not a wrong. He is not a fearful person. Prospero. Silence. Speak not for him. One word more. If you speak one word more, shall make thee chair thee. Means I would scold you, if not hit. I won't hit you, but I would scold you. What an advocate for an imposter! You are became, becoming an advocate. You are advocating. You are uh, supporting an imposter. Means a cheater who has come here to cheat us. Hush. Keep quiet. Thou thinkest there is no more such ships as he? You think he, there is no other people like him? There is no other man like him? So handsome? Having seen but him and Caliban? You have seen this man and Caliban. Since you are comparing this man to Caliban, so you are thinking he is the last man on the earth? Foolish wench, foolish girl. To the most of men, this is a Caliban. If you see the world, and if you see other men, you would understand this Ferdinand would look like Caliban among other men. And they do to him our angels. And those people would look like angels in front of this Ferdinand. Miranda, my affections are then most humble father. I don't have great affection. No, I don't have more ambition. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man father. I don't want to see a better man than him. He is the last man I think I would see and would be happy with him only. Prospero to Ferdinand. Come on, obey. Come on, listen to me and follow me. Thy nerves are in thy infancy again. See, you are in the condition as you were in the childhood, weak without any power. And have no vigor in them. You have no power, no bravery left in your nerves. You are a child now, Ferdinand. So they are. You are correct. I also feel the same heaviness in me. My spirits, my soul, as in a dream, I, as if I am dreaming, I am unable to show my vigor, my bravery, my power, are all bound up. It seems like it is bound up means tied. My father's loss, first of all, the weakness which I feel, okay? My father's loss, this is a great weakness which I feel, the wreck of my friends, the destruction of my friends. Nor this man threats, nor your threats that you are threatening me, you would uh, chain me, not that. To whom I am subdued, this man, you have overpowered me, are but light on me. He said, my father's loss, loss of my friends and your threatening would become light on me, means would not affect me. Might I but through my prison once a day. If you allow me to see this maid once in a day, then all this pain and sorrow would become light for me. All corners else of the earth, let liberty make use of it. Means let other men live in liberty. I don't want other place on the earth. A space enough have I in such a prison. My, the prison would be a great place for me if I would be given the opportunity to have a view of this maid and this girl, Miranda, once in the day. Prospero aside again, a solicue, talking to himself. It works, my, my plan works. To Ferdinand, come on! Thou hast done well enough. To, and then he's speaking to, he's speaking to multiple persons. There he said, he first he speaks to himself and then he said to Ferdinand, come on! You follow me. And then he's speaking to Ariel slowly. 
thou hast done well, fine Ariel, great Ariel. To Vajendra, again to Ferdinand, follow me. Again to Ariel. He's, he asked him to follow and he is moving. He asked him to follow and he is moving further. He said, ha, listen, what thou else shall do. Now listen, what other thing you have to do. When, when he, he told him, Mijanda, be of comfort. This is, she is speaking to Ferdinand. Be of comfort. Don't worry, don't worry. My father is of better nature. My father is not of this nature which he is showing today, sir. Then he appears by his speech. He speaks like this, but his nature is very good. This is unwanted, which now came from this unnatural thing he is speaking today. I don't expect this thing, Prospero. Thou shalt be as free as mountain wind. This is speaking to Ariel. You will be free. I would free you like the mountain wind. You would become the wind of the mountain. You fly anywhere you want to go. But then exactly do all points of my command. Whatever the command I have given, do it to each syllable as it is. Ariel, yes sir, do the syllable means each word is syllable as you have spoken. I would do in the same way. Prospero to Ferdinand. Come follow. Come on, follow me. I will chain you to Miranda. Speak not for him. Don't speak for him. Keep quiet. Excellent. Okay. So this is how we have finished Act 1, Scene 2. And I believe that in the next video, I would definitely come with another act, another scene. Okay. So, see all these four videos one by one so that you understand about it. Okay, And I would discuss with you some important questions related to this Act 1, Scene 2. Till then, I must take leave and we'll meet you soon in another video. Goodbye. Thank you very much.